Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, my question is of Chairman Kay. There have been, cons have been concerning reports of young athletes that have non-Hodgkin lymphoma and other blood cancers and who also have been playing sports on athletic fields that are filled with crumb rubber coming from tires, which often contains cancer-causing cancer chemicals. This past October, I wrote to the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry explaining that I believe additional research is needed into whether synthetic turf athletic fields increase the risk of lymphoma, leukemia, and other blood cancers. In the agency's reply, they stated that they're supporting efforts by the Commission in this area. Yet in 2008, the Commission released a statement saying that fields filled with crumb rubber are, quote, okay to install, okay to play on, unquote. And I was pleased to hear more recently that a spokesperson explained that the 2008 statement does not reflect uh, your current views. So I just wanted to ask, is it correct that your views are not reflected in that 2008 report, and do you agree that additional research and study is necessary to determine whether crumb rubber used in synthetic turf athletic fields presents any public health dangers? And also, is the Commission committed to working with other federal agencies to obtain this information and to ensure young athletes playing on these fields are protected? Just ask you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Congressman, and thank you for your leadership on this area. I think you had three questions embedded in there, so I'm going to try to address all three sure. in turn. The first is, you are absolutely correct that that 2008 release does not reflect my views of the state of play, and I think it's important to note that that 2008 didn't even, uh, release didn't even reflect, as far as I understand it, the technical staff's views at the time, that there was a political effort at, at the time at the Commission to say something in the headline of the release that may not actually reflect the state of play, which is basically that those products are safe. I think there's a big difference in looking at the lead exposure that might exist from the blades of the grass and determining that based on a small sample size, the staff was not able to say that there were disconcerting levels of lead in those fields in that particular aspect. That's very different from saying these things are safe to play on. Safe to play on means something to parents that I don't think we intended to convey and I don't think we should have conveyed. So that's the answer to the first question. The answer to the second question is absolutely we are working with our federal partners to try to figure out a better and faster way working together to see if an issue such as crumb rubber can re be resolved more quickly. As I mentioned to the ranking member earlier, we're working with EPA, we're working with NIH through their center down in Research Triangle Park, North Carolina, the National Institutes of Environmental Health Sciences and the National Toxicology Program. CDT, CDC, ATSDR, and then also the FDA. We're trying to figure out a way for the government to come together, use our existing resources and authorities to address these issues. Parents don't care which acronym name government agency is supposed to do what. They just want answers and they want this uncertainty resolved. And the third question, I apologize, I can't even remember what the third one was. If you could, if you wouldn't mind asking me again. Well, I'm just, I think you're, you know, it's really basically trying to find out what your view is and and what the Commission is doing, and whether you're working with other federal agencies Absolutely. on the issue. Absolutely. All right. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.